here is the laptop it's a Acer Hesper 4520 it's a two old laptop I suggested the customer to take other one but he told it's too costly to take other one so I am happy with this service so anyway we are service person so I already suggested the cost of repair is more than this particular laptop then also we want us to do the repair things if not repairable then we'll go for other option okay anyway so we are the repairer so we need to repair it that's our job if customers say yes we have to do otherwise we have to return it so see what the exact issue here when i press the power button it's on and off on and off see on so this is the issue let us check what the exact issue once opening the laptop then only we come to know this is nvidia athlon x2 hmm? okay. here is the laptop so it's really multiple screws it's really difficult to open the case so but anyway only difficult because of these screws that's it okay here the amp i'll connect so what will be the amp see i will try to start it's coming up and disconnecting see on and off on and off okay let me check one by one why it's on and off hmm? first the basic thing is i will remove the cell hmm. remove the cell let me check if it is a lock so it will turn on by default it should be turn on but it's not it anyway on and off on and off it's trying to on but getting switch off because of short i think so but anyway let me check in deeply see this side i'll remove this processor and i'll check before that what are the status same issue Again, I'll check. Hmm. See, again, on and off. See, in this case, most probably the NVIDIA or AMD chipset may be the uh, issue because this kind of issues that particular processor or graphic chip will give the thing. So anyway. let me check i will remove this processor and i will check the voltage is constant or not because if short is there then also it will happen but to identify the short i need to remove this processor maybe processor if it is a short then this case will come anyway let me check i will remove this yes i to remove again i'll give the supply and i'll check it may be the result see i removed the processor processor looking good okay yeah, let me check see the amp yes it's constant see the light all lights are glowing see yeah yeah so there may be processor issue i think so but anyway we will check this processor section is there any short or not that also find out see this is the processor amd athlon 64x2 
is too old processor so i'll check in scrap list so if it is available i'll put the processor before that i will confirm this particular coil having short or not see impedance good there is no short if this area having some short or anything so definitely this would have been short okay so now uh, see here is scrap board i got a processor amd phenom 2 it will support or not that exactly i don't know i'll put the processor and check see this generation here yes all pins are matching see all kernels are matching so it may support i think so but anyway here is the notch point uh, point so here i'll put so i'll tighten it and i'll put the heat sink and Heating section. Hmm. Let me check once. So. I'll put this CMOS cell, which I removed. So now it's powering on our hut. <coughs> Let us check. Here is the power button. This is all I need. Here I'll connect the power supply. See, check the DC. Now I'll turn it on. Yes, it is constant. See the lights, but I'll get the display or not that I don't know. So I'll connect the board. Check. Mm -hmm. There is no light. Maybe this processor is not supporting. Hmm. But anyway, what about other issues? That also I don't know. So let me check one by one. So here is the conclusion. In case of processor issue, there will be immediately shutdown because of short. Okay. So now I will check one more processor. If display comes, I will show you. Hmm. Otherwise, I will return it back. Thank you, thank you very much. Here I have replaced the processor and removed a lot of RAM. Beginning it was uh, no display, so let me check once again. Turning on the ampere. Ampere is constant. It's increasing. Is the monitor? Yes. Monitor. Yes. Display. We got. Keyboard. Yes. Keyboard also. We got. This is how we have to confirm the processor without doing any other troubleshooting. First, we need to check the processor side. Okay. In case of older motherboards.